Hi all, in this video we will be covering uh, the backup of uh, the HCD cluster and how to validate it. So we have a two node cluster, uh, rather three node cluster where one is master node and the other two are the worker nodes. So let's first validate it. So this is our master cube hyphen master and the other ones are the worker nodes. So it, this cluster has been deployed with cube ADM. And we have to take a backup of the HCD. So for that, uh, we should have an HCD client on the, system, on the master node. If it's not present, it will ask you to install it. So let's go through the documentation first and see what it says. To take a backup how to take a backup so you can over on to this path we will put this path uh, in the video notes uh, while we post the video so this is the command that we need to run uh, for taking the backup so what parameters we need for taking the backup we will see but first of all we will just copy this command and uh, you would see the help of this command to see what kind of option that it gives you. So if you see, so we would require an endpoint as you mentioned in here, you will require an endpoint. Endpoint is nothing but uh, the master node uh, uh, endpoint which you could see if it's specified you could use this one. But in order to see the configuration, use this command. Prep and HCD. So if you see, it will give you all the details, right? You can see this details, or and you can also find this content in this uh, particular file. So if you see in here all the data that you are looking for either you can get through this command or you can go into this and copy this stuff in the notepad whatever you need and paste it in here now we will run this so we will be using endpoints equal to our endpoint is this one 2379 which has been mentioned in here this one we will be putting that into the codes Sorry, not in quotes like this. Then we have the CA root certificate. So all these parameters you could just find using the minus H command. So CA cert is the CA certificate, a trusted CA authority certificate so this is the path of it you have to validate it so this path this particular file or the certificate should be present in, at the particular path so then is your cert which is nothing but a server certificate so if you find it here so you can use this one this is a cert file so you need to use this path and along with the key for the same. And let me extend the video. And hyphen, then is your key. So in the key, we will put in this parameter. This is the key file. It's exactly with the same name, but 
instead of cert it's k e y k e and so here we are now then we have to use these are the parameters that we require to take a backup snapshot save and here we need to specify the name of the file uh, in which the backup would be stored so i would be storing this into uh, say i will name this file as sct backup dot db and here we go so it has taken a backup so if i go in here ls so you could find so you could find this and if you need to see the details you can just use this so here you can find the backup but how to validate it whether this file is correct or not or whether it contains the configurations of uh, the HCD. So there we need we will again go to the documentation. So we can use this command which is the status command of snapshot. Snapshot status command. And here we will specify the path of the file which has been created from uh, by the snapshot save option. So we will just copy and paste it in here. And it will print this into the tabular format so you go in here and you use yaml then this file name so if you say this is the file which shows in this way now this is the tabular format where it defines what is the size of the file what are the number of keys present in it or the revision and all such things and if you are, do not want to use the tabular output you could just just in order to save time and to be on the faster side just run this it will show you the same content but without any custom columns in it or th there is no columns specified so you need to just uh, uh, think uh, of it that you need to depend upon you need to guess it or you need to have a knowledge of it uh, if you do not want to use a table output so this is about uh, taking the backup of hcd uh, cluster and uh, this is what we need to cover in this video Thank you for watching.